Thank you for joining. Something good is about to happen. I'm Dr. Sugar Trask, founder of Scar Free Ministries, a ministry of healing, restoration, deliverance, and the prophetic. I'm also hosting this year, in fact, this month, October 26th through the 28th, Azusa 17. Azusa 17, I'm inviting you to come to Houston, Texas, and that is going to be a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday evening is going to be at 7.30 p.m., and this is all Central Standard Time. We will be filming. We will be Facebook uh, Live. We'll also Periscope and all the other social media that uh, there is to use, we will be using. Friday and Saturday, it's both the same time, 10, 2, and 7 p.m. I want to invite you to come to something that is historical. Leg the, it will be leaving a legacy for the next generation. For it is Azusa 17, the next generation of generals, igniting the world, tent revival, celebrating 111 years of Azusa, honoring Brother William Seymour. William Seymour came through Houston, Texas, Harris County, as well as Fort Bend County. 1905, traveling all the way through Kansas and the other cities, ministering and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. He ended in Los Angeles, California, and they have Azusa Street, they have the La Brea, ha the Brea House, and uh, every year there's some type of a celebration that goes on in many of the different states, Oklahoma, California, you know. And so this is the 111th year of Azusa. And when God gave this to me to be able to come and host this event, I said, well, God, I don't know many people here in the Houston area. I says, but I'm going to tell you yes, and then you'll make it happen, and you'll tell me how to go about, who to contact, and how to make it happen. And so that's what I've done so far. And God has planted so many wonderful people in my life to join together, to partner with me to bring forth the outpouring of Azusa 17, which will be held right here. The Hobby Airport is the closest airport to Missouri City. And then there's the Bush Airport that's, what, maybe 45 minutes away. So I'm just having you to those of you that want to come out. The hotel in Stafford, Texas is 11 minutes away from this location. And I want to give thanks to uh, Bishop Alan Rice, who is the uh, bishop at Together We Stand Christian Church that partnered with me, didn't know me, didn't know anything about the ministry, but he knew the vision and he knew that it was operating through the Holy Spirit. So when he said his yes, and I said my yes, and the other people that is now partnered with me has said yes, we are so excited. And one of the things that's going to be happening that's very unique is that we have David Walters, whose wife is Kathy Walters, and we have Denisa and Alan Kingria of Ambas uh, Peak Ambassadors Children's Ministry that is going to be heading up the children's ministry, ushering in the Holy Spirit. And there's going to be comedy. There's going to be different skits. There'll be learning, teaching, laying hands on, prophesying, speaking, baptism of the Holy Spirit. We're having a water baptism. And see, what's so unique about this is that it is the last weekend in October. Well, other people celebrate a holiday called Halloween. Well, we don't celebrate Halloween, but we sure 
celebrate the Holy Spirit. And that is what is going on. And there'll be candy and there'll be games. There'll be fun. It's a safe place. So this will air before uh, the 26th. So just remember, we will be here at 1432 Texas Parkway, Missouri City, Texas, 773, I'm sorry, 77477. You can contact me by phone or text, leave a message, 409-789-9631. You can also go to the website, www.scarfree03ministries.com. That's SCAR, S-C-A-R, free, F-R-E-E, -E, the numbers 03ministries.com. Or you can email, and that's scarfreeministries at earthlink.net. And I would love for you to bring your church, bring your van, bring your, your car loads full and your truck loads full and come out and have an explosion an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Come out and learn. If you don't know anything about Azusa, Google it. If you don't know anything about William Seymour, Google it. Charles Fox Parham, Google it. And then you'll have some information. And not only that, you will have an opportunity to be in the history book. So the people of the media that will be here doing a lot of live coverage and the book will actually be a history book of the 2017 Azusa 17. Some of the guests that we're going to have, some of the speakers, will be Joshua Miles from Greater Faith Church right here in Houston. Frank and Karen Sumrall. Uh, Frank is the son of Lester Sumrall. David Walters. Uh, Joan Hunter is going to record uh, a special blessing over Azusa for us. We have Terry Spencer, the courtrooms of heaven. Melody Barker, which is the granddaughter of Charles and Francis Hunter, who at also Joan is the daughter of Charles and Francis Hunter. We have Nelson Schumann. Nelson Schumann has restored uh, to freedom ministries. Awesome man of God. He's on social media as well. Then we have the daughter of R.W. Schombach, which is Donna, that will be coming in. We have Apostle Philip Sharo from Uganda that is going to fly in to bless us. And Michelle Oswald. We have Ruth Ann McCormick, an awesome, awesome woman of God. And uh, Pastor Elizabeth Igli from Uganda, but now resides in Seattle, Washington, will be coming in. Uh, both her and Apostle Philip Charo and I was in uh, Florida, Sanford, Florida, this exact time last year when Hurricane Matthew hit. And we were having services, and we had to leave. You know, and not knowing anyone, a lady stepped up and said, I have a, a timeshare in Orlando, and you're welcome to come to or Orlando. And we were right there when the eye hit, but we prayed and we prayed and it just curved and did not do hardly any damage. There was, a, you know, flooding. But, you know, God is great and God is good. He's merciful to his children. We have uh, Mary and Ken Bostrom, that uh, Dr. Judy Leard. We have uh, Pastor Brian Young, uh, Pastor Alan Rice who again is the pastor and bishop of Together We Stand, who's co-hosting the event with me as well. High Priest Kerry Ridley from right here in Houston uh, and Ray Lynn Parkin of Birdsong Ministries. There's many, many more that is going to, Kel, uh, Kel Bell is going to be here as well. Uh, we have several others that uh, are going to be coming and ministering. We have praise and worship. We have uh, praise dancers. We have flaggers that's going to be coming. It's going to be an international Azusa. It is going to be a time of a gathering of the outpouring 
for God's Holy Spirit to come down, rain on us. We're even going to have an outdoor baptism, water baptism for those that want to be baptized or baptized again, just to be certain. We're going to have the salvation, the plan of salvation. We're going to have deliverance services, prophetic services, and it's going to be, again, Thursday, October 26th, and it will start at 7 o'clock. Friday and Saturday, there'll be three services. So if you can't make the morning, come in the afternoon. If you can't make morning or afternoon, come at night and just get here. Whatever it takes, whatever you have. If you've got to take an early vacation, don't wait till December. Bring your family, the children that is going to be, uh, the uh, ministers that's going to minister to the children. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Their hearts are for children. And see, those are going to be 40 years from now, those are going to be the same children that's going to host Azusa. And in remembrance of Dr. Sugar Trask, Pastor Alan Rice, and Brother William Seymour. So we're leaving a legacy. We're leaving something for them to grasp hold of, to actually have their pictures in a history book, to actually have them partake in this international outpouring of the Holy Spirit, to learn, to gain knowledge, to open the doors. Again, God strategically has planned every detail out of what he wants, and he's just using myself and the team. Now we have the team that is working together. I have people that's working with me at, from California, Austin, San Antonio, Texas, Oklahoma, Minnesota, and they're just bringing what they have so we will be successful. And it is an actual tent. And we're gonna be out to the outside, so it's not an event. Ladies, don't be bringing and wearing your stilettos because you're gonna be in the dirt, you're gonna be in the grass, and you're gonna be on the ground. The Holy Spirit, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the giftings of the Holy Spirit. And I am excited to know the power that is going to be. And see, this revival, this revolution, it will be televised. So come and be a part. Again, all the information is at the bottom of the screen. And this is Azusa 17, the 111th anniversary of Dr. William Seymour. And I am excited, I am happy, I am so thrilled to know God has trusted me to be able to host and to usher in the Holy Spirit. And I'd like to also share with you one of my books, and this is, God, What Now? I Have Prayed. You know, a lot of times we pray and we wait, we get impatient. So this book is dedicated to every prayer warrior, to everyone who has spent sleepless nights praying for others, for all the intercessors in the nation, to those that desire to have a closer walk with God, who long to have communication and intimacy with the Heavenly Father. He wants to be intimate with you. He wants you to know him just like he knows you. He wants you to spend time with him, to be alone with him, not microwave him, not Burger King wave him, but to spend time to know his voice, to feel his heartbeat, to be able to speak to him. Daddy, Abba, Father, he wants you to call him by his name. He wants you to have a love affair with him. And see, you don't want at the end to get to that gate, to get to that door. And he says, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I know you not. You don't want that. Learn how to spend time in the morning, in the afternoon. If you have to wake up an extra 30 minutes to spend time, and understand, God will wake you up. 
just so he can spend some time with you. When the house is quiet, the dogs aren't barking, the husband isn't asking for anything, you're not waking up just to go to the bathroom. He's waking you up because that's your time. Understand the watch, which is what he wakes you up for. Is it the fourth watch? Is it the third watch? Google and find out what watch, what time. And then go to the Bible. Open up the Bible. If he wakes you up at 633, find every scripture that has a 6 and a 33rd verse. Every single one. We all know, which is my favorite, Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all, and all of these things shall be added. All of what things you say? Health, wealth, happiness, joy, peace, contentment, love, understanding, compassion. And, and just the material things will be added. But he wants y him to be first. As he says in the scriptures, I will have no other gods before me. And that means turning off the phone before you get in the bed or before you go to sleep. To pray that prayer first thing in the morning. To be able throughout the day, just whisper a prayer to him. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you adore him. Tell him how much that you, he means to you. Let him know you appreciate. Because you're a child. You're a child of God. You're a child of daddy. And just like natural parents, they want you to say, I love you, mommy. I love you, daddy. I love you. So that's what God, he wants to hear your voice. We're always so busy. I ain't heard anything from God. God's not speaking to me. Why don't I hear anything from God? Well, first of all, you're not giving him the opportunity. Praying and reading the Bible with your cell phone in your hand, that's not spending time with God. Having your Bible, having your cell phone, then having your favorite movie on all in the same room, that's not spending time with God. Waking up, not thanking him, eating food, not blessing it, almost getting in accidents. You're not thanking him for your angels. That's what he wants from you. He wants all of you, and he wants it first. He wants it foremost. He wants to be the head of your life. He wants to be the Lord over your life. He wants, as the scripture says, if you abide in me, I'll abide in you. If you let me flow through you and you flow through my word, but so many times we have all of these other things that he can't flow through and you can't get anything through. You can't get a prayer through because you're so concerned about your job, your finances, your bills, what's going on in life your children, your grandchildren, your parents. God said, cast your cares upon me. He, he's not going to force you to do anything. We have our own will. So, but what he wants you to do is give it to him. You're sick, give it to him. You're in lack, give it to him. You're lonely, give it to him. That's what God desires. He wants to take care of you. He's a good, good daddy. And he wants you to recognize and to know there's no sin that he will not forgive. There's no wrong that he will not forgive. There's nothing too big that you can do. Because you know what? The word says there's nothing new under the sun. It's already been done. And whether you tell a full lie, a whole lie, a half a lie, a piece of lie, God already knows. But repent. Repent. Ask God to forgive you. You know, you may not physically think that this is anything, but I'm speaking to someone right now, and you have a problem with pornography. You have a problem with masturbation. You have a problem, and you really feel 
that that's not hurting anyone. But the word says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So when you're doing these and you have these issues, ask the Holy Spirit. Ask God to strengthen you. You're not the first, you're not the last, you're not the only one. But you can be delivered. You can be set free from that demon of lust, from that familiar spirit. The same thing with women. You have these other issues. And ask God to strengthen you. Ask God to redeem you. Because God is married to the backslider. It doesn't matter how far away you've turned away from God. God's word says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be there. Don't you think he's there when you're doing, you're sinning? He's there when you're lying. He's there. So don't think that you can hide from God because you can't. But what you can do is repent because his word says, I choose to remember your sin no more. Well, what does that mean? No more do I remember once you repent. Ask me to forgive you. It's under the blood. God's grace, God's mercy endureth forever, 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 forever. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, put your big girl panties on, fellas, put your big boxers on, and start all over again. And God will reward you. We all get weak at some point in time, but we have that Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to direct us. We have angels to protect us. You almost fell. Well, that was your angel that caught you. You almost got hit by a car. That was your angel. Angels are on the move. Angels are alive. Angels are real. Ask God what their names are. Ask God to show you your angels. I know not many of you do this, but I am a real regular at doing this. I look up in the sky. Look up in the sky and see God has got an angel for you right there as you're driving. That angel called protection is protecting you. That angel of direction is directing you. That angel is with you at all times. But look up. You'll see the angels. You'll see the faces. You can even see Jesus in the clouds, in the, in the sky, and in the evenings. If you're, if you're a seer and you're a warrior, you can look up and you can see the war in the heavens going on. Now, try not to look really hard as you're driving down the freeways, especially those that's in California, here in Texas, New York, Florida. I mean, they drive, and you've got to drive with wisdom. But even just in the middle of the night when you wake up, go outside and see what God has to show you. See what he has for you up there and what's going on. Because we serve a good God, a fun God. God has a great sense of humor. You know, as I'm sharing in this right here, uh, in this book, God, what now I've prayed. The prayers that's in this particular book will assist you and guide you through whatever area or issue in your life that you need God's divine intervention. A lot of times we get caught up here in our minds and it's what we think if what I would do, but don't go there. Simply ask the Holy Spirit, what am I to do? I don't want to do anything wrong. And you know, getting angry, you can have Holy Ghost anger, but you don't want to sin. Be angry, but sin not. Don't go down angry. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath um, in the evening time, at night time. Get it right. Make it right. That's why we have repentance. That's why we're to go to one another. If you have fought with a brother or sister, a husband, a wife, a daughter, a son, a grandmother, or a mother, a parent, go to that person and say, you know what, this isn't right. And 
I can't live this way. I need to get it right. And it, it's not for yourself, but it's for that other person. It's not always your fault. It's not always their fault because we don't fight against or wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the spirits of evil in high places, in the dark places. So what it is, is that find out what the root is. Find out why that person is angry. Anger, unmet expectations. They were expecting you to have that dinner cooked when they got home and that dinner wasn't cooked, so they're angry. You had expectation that they were going to pick Johnny up. They didn't pick Johnny up. So now you have to go do it. That made you angry. And then there's the bills in the house. One is spending, one is putting in, one is taking out. That's anger and just cause. But get it together. Have a communication with your spouse. Have a communication with your children. Don't let the sun go down. Don't carry that because unforgiveness causes constipation, diarrhea, IBS, ulcers, arthritis, nervousness, overeating, high blood pressure, diabetes. So you can understand you are doing this to your body. Don't do it. Get it right. Get an understanding of all things. Get an understanding because you don't want anything blocking you and God. <clears throat> you can get the book on my website, which is at the bottom of the screen. And remember, something good is about to happen at Azusa 17, October 26th through the 27th, right here in Missouri City, Texas, right next to Houston, Texas. And until next time, be blessed.